Alrighty. Beautiful day. Figured I'd shoot a uh, shoot a cleanup video here. And I just wanted to discuss as far as, gosh, I don't have the piece out here with me and I should have brought it, but either way, um, a lot of people said Lost Lake on what I said, pine tree or dovetail. And to me, if you look at this clip wing dove right here that came from the dovetail site and everything else, with the big boy hard doves, it's really more of a hardened, if you want to get down to notching and everything else, way more of a hardened characteristic than a dovetail. And either way, if you look at that notching and you look at that base, that right there screams clip wing dove, even though it's got the left hand bevel and, uh, you know, whatever. A lot of characteristics of the Lost Lake. And Alabama Headhunter, you said it best as far as, you know, these being a, I, can, I, I compare it to car types pretty much, but pretty much Cobb's blades were made and probably traded. And ultimately it was up to the tribe or person who had the Cobb's blade to turn it into one of these style bases pretty much during this time period. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, just depending on the maker, pretty much, here's what would be considered a classic Lost Lake example. And multiple people said Lost Lake on that bad boy. And, uh, yeah, it just goes to speak to the area as far as it being a, uh, you know, crossover type area where you've got hardens with dovetail characteristics and dovetails with, you know, Lost Lake characteristics. And again, a lot of people have called this a pine tree and there are lobed pine trees, but if you look at Greenbriars, they say it's most commonly mistaked for a pine tree. It's most commonly mistaked because it's it's the grandpappy of the pine tree. It's the pine tree came from it. So ultimately all the characteristics of a pine tree match a Greenbrier. And with the big fluting strike up it, definitely Greenbrier. And with the base and everything else, this is uh, the very beginning of what a pine tree would look like. So the crossover again type area. And, and, and again here, this is like a Greenbrier that is like one of the very earliest forms. Here is one of the latest forms of a Greenbrier. Here is the earliest form of a Greenbrier and it is transitioning from what would be, in my opinion, I mean, Greenbriers came directly after what would be the Dalton Greenbrier. And that is more of a Dalton, which is found in the same area. I, of course, dude, tip nicks, and that's what they get. I came off my big sandy site, you can see the BS on it, but. And that's what this is, is really BS. And again, that is what's called St. Louis Blue Limestone. Missouri, you made it famous, but it is also a major outcrop here in Northern Tennessee. It's called Dover, Tennessee. And in Dover, let me tell you, the early paleo and early archaic, that is why they're here, is for this material. But either way, Fort Payne, Fort Payne, Fort Payne, Fort Payne, Fort Payne, you know, and that what I would almost say is the St. Louis, it is Dover. And Dover is really just a high grade. They grow in the same formation on limestone, pretty much. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm hitting you all with a lot of information, but um, yeah, either way, the early boys, um, it looks blue, but that is definitely a form of Dover. And it's called St. Louis. And yeah, I just wanted to share. Somebody was requesting a cleanup video of the Lost Lake here. And uh, just to be able to show off the uh, the colors on it and stuff like that, it is just gorgeous. And you can see what I mean by the St. Louis Blues. And again, Fort Payne's just a high grade version, or excuse me, Dover is just a high grade version of Fort Payne. They're almost one in the same, geologists say. She's sexy, sexy piece. She's got a slight left hand bevel. She's really close to a first stage. I would say probably second stage on this thing for the size of the ears and the slight beveling. And again, those notches are just phenomenal. I'd say almost three eighths of an inch or over a quarter, but I can hear, uh, I can hear the kids fussing. I'm sure you can too. So I'm going to get off here. I've made it long enough. I just wanted to share one more time and discuss how unique this site was. I just couldn't help it. I'm a very blessed man and dumb luck. Either way, I, I firmly believe I was guided here for a reason. And I'm trying to rescue him. And if anything, that tip on that one makes me appreciate that tip on this Greenbrier right here. And you've seen it before. I can't help but show her off. And of course, the site is a G, which that looks like a six, but that's a G. <laughs> and uh, either way, 
pine tree characteristics on one side. Dalton slash Clovis slash transitional paleo characteristics on the other. Very blessed man. And I just wanted to share and thank all my subscribers. And yeah, I just wanted to put this video out for, gosh, I can't remember your name, but this is for you. Oh, God, Peggy, I believe it's Peggy. Peggy Morgan, but um, either way, guys, thank you so much. See ya.